you know, overall, I think um, with the amount of change in the roster on a daily basis, um, we achieved some pretty good things, and uh, guys got to play a lot of minutes. Um, guys got to face a lot of different adversity, and uh, they were challenged. So, and we responded really well to the challenge. So, I guess the part of uh, the good part was that um, we had some big character wins down the stretch. Um, we showed a lot of character, heart, and desire. Um, won two our last two games to make sure we made the playoffs, and then that was a huge, huge achievement and accomplishment. And it uh, it obviously speaks well to the coaches and. Uh, and the leaders and, uh, and all the players overall. And they all believed in one another and were able to do a great thing in making the playoffs on, on the last game of the last day of the regular season in the American Hockey League. You want to be in the playoffs every year. You want to win a cup every year. And, and having the success that we had last year and having the great start and the successful season that we had at the beginning of this year, uh, to have not made it, you know, the playoffs as an organization, I think it I, I certainly felt that we needed to make the playoffs for our organization, for all the hard work. I mean, um, ultimately, the ultimate reward is winning a championship, and that's what you want to do. But that being said, the coaches and the players, and we all worked so hard this year to keep the group successful. Um, and, uh, and we're rewarded because, uh, because of that hard work uh, in the last game. And if we were to have fallen short at that point, I think it would have been, then you, then you really, you know, then it's incredibly disappointing because you work so hard to get there. So uh, the positive is that we achieved some, some good things. Um, the negative is it's never good enough unless you win the whole thing. Well, there's no doubt, I mean, record number of players in your locker room. So first it speaks to the character of the group in the locker room. Um, and what keeps that going every day is, is the character and the work ethic and, and the great job that the coaches do in keeping that that team atmosphere, even though the, we didn't have the same roster uh, once the second half of the year, it, I don't think. Um, so, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes as to the, the character in the room and, 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 the, and the hard work of the coaches and, and the character amongst the staff and keeping everybody on the same page. There's a roster minimum in the NHL and we are so hurt and so injured that, you know, players like uh, Warren Peters that were so important to our Calder Cup run last year. and. And Jed Ortmeier, those kind of players, you know, they earn spots in the National Hockey League, and, and um, they couldn't necessarily be put down. You're only allowed four recalls from your uh, minor league team, so we used three of them the first day um, because of trades and deadline moves. Um, we we're able to transfer, um, you know, some really good young defensemen here, and Marco, and and Nate, and then Camphor, and then the last one was uh, Palmieri. So. Um, Unfortunately for maybe the Arrows fans, they didn't get a chance to see uh, you know Jed Ortmeier and Warren Peters, and but and probably to but but it's to the benefit of some of our players to understand and to learn. Like we we had those guys because those guys are great character guys and they're winners. Um, and you surround your team with great character guys and winners, obviously to carry you through hard times and to to bridge the gap and to to to, to carry you and to support you through hard times and. Um, my message to our young guys here and our other players here is that uh, they're there to carry you, but they're there for you to lean on, and then eventually they're not there, and, and, and you are supposed to um, take on those attributes and their leadership abilities, and, and the way you do that is by being surrounded by guys like that. So they, were, they, weren't, uh, they weren't always brought on just to, to carry people. They're, they're brought on so they rub off on people, and people become better and stronger. And, 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 and more successful as a result of being with people like with uh, Warren Peters and Jed Ortmeier. So, um, and, and you know, and a lot of the kids did. They did respond. And Cody took on more leadership role and and more of an onus on his play. And, and, and guys like that. And Nate Prosser came down and, and he did a great job and showed leadership. So, um, you surround you know your players with good people, and they become they they already are good people, and they develop into leaders themselves.